Okay, everybody, here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Fjord water. This is Norwegian mineral water from a fjord. Next up is uh, <coughs> Primo water uh, from Walmart. And so what do these two waters have in common? Not much. They're both waters. That's pretty much all they have in common. They both have clear liquids with water inside the bottle. That's all they have in common. So this is gonna be an interesting video. This is the biggest bottle I've um, ever reviewed. Biggest bottle I've ever you know, drink from. This is a five gallon bottle. It's made for a water dispenser. You know, like people in offices use these a lot. I've never worked in an office, so I've never purchased one of these before. But uh, Primo sent me this promotional gift card to get five dollars off a refill and I've never I've never used the gift card because I've never had one of these bottles you have to buy the bottle that's full of water and then you pay to fill it back up at like a dispenser um, in this case it's at Walmart so I've never tried either of these but they're both good waters they're both still unflavored waters they, they both have a good chance of winning Primo says that it's America's finest water and America's finest water dispenser. And it's, the bottle is BPA free, purified with reverse osmosis and or distillation and UV filtered and, you know, all the standard stuff. But they add in the minerals to this water. This water is just naturally occurring minerals that just, you know, come from the earth naturally. They're not added in. Primo says that it contains by Potassium bicarbonate, calcium chloride, magnesium chloride. So they just fill it up from a municipal, municipal supply. And um, here we go. Let's start tasting them, I guess. I've, I've never opened one of these lids before, so I'm not even sure how you do it. It says pull. Uh, you guys can't even see it. It's like the camera's literally below the top of the cap, but it says pull. And, um, you know, it's made to go in one of those dispensers. So I'm not sure how this works. Maybe it twists off. There's also this thing here. So maybe I pull this. And I'm really not sure. Um, I think I messed it up. I think I yeah, twisted it the wrong way or something. Let's see if we can still get this off. There we go. So the cap, I think if you put it in a dispenser you just put this on like a little needle that pushes it in. Oh, okay. And then this thing came off, so that's weird. I don't know how the lid works. I'm, I don't know if I broke it or if I did it the right way. I'm not really sure at all, to be honest. I'm just gonna put this aside and um, let's do a taste test. <laughs> Here we go. good um it's very similar to my um my Brita actually but it's like you know the standard just tap water but it's it's clean but it's like it does taste like tap water kind of but I mean that's not like a bad thing but um that's what it tastes like wouldn't it be funny like maybe a prank video or something just like you know going around town just casually acting like this is a regular bottle of water <laughs> Just like go to the gym and try running on the treadmill while you're drinking out of this. I'm just acting like, yeah, what isn't this normal? Just a bottle of water. Um I think in the old versions of these, the handle was clear and was also filled with water. I think they changed it. Separate piece of plastic. I'm not sure how it's attached. Um but that's that. Let's try out the forge water. That is apparently how you pronounce it. I had to look it up how you pronounce this on uh, YouTube. Fjord. Fjord. So this is Norwegian mineral water. It's bottled in Telmark, Norway. So a forge is formed when a glacier retreats after carving its typical U-shaped valley and the sea fills uh, the resulting valley floor. 
This forms a narrow waterway, I guess. Sometimes it's deeper than 1,300 meters and connected to the sea. U-shaped and surrounded by mountains. Um, you know, I looked up on Google Images just the word fjord and, uh, you know, a lot of beautiful pictures of Norway, like a very beautiful country. For the water, it says throughout thick layers of sand and gravel below mountain Stockhorn, water has migrated for hundreds of years. In this process, the water is both purified and added uh, minerals as only nature can do. It's a double-sided label. So if you look at it this way, you can see like mountains on the inside. It's, it's a good looking bottle too. It's clearly high end, you know, it's got the full size lid and here we go. I got this from salaciousdrinks.com. This cost me $2.98. It's a good one. That's really good. It's very good. I mean, it's fantastic water. I actually bought this from Salacious Drinks over a year ago. So I was a little worried it might have a bad taste to it just because it's been sitting around for so long. I bought this in April of 2018. Now it's June of 2019. I just haven't had time, I haven't gone around to reviewing it yet. I actually looked it up on salaciousdrinks.com and they don't even sell this anymore. <laughs> it's been that long, but it's still, you know, it doesn't have a bad taste from sitting around. The bottle says to store it in a dark spot. That's what I've been doing. I've stored it in just a dresser drawer for over a year. Really good tasting. Very clean, very pure. Uh, I'm gonna do the pH test. All right, here's the pH test. That's Fjord on the left, Primo on the right. They both look about the same. They both look like about a six to me, but I'm colorblind, so you guys look at the chart and decide for yourself what you think their pH level is. All right, that's pretty good too. This is a tough one. Um, so the Primo water was $13.44. That came with the, the, this big bottle and the water inside. So that seems, $13 seems high for a bottle of water, but it's a lot of water. I mean, this is probably like a couple cases of water, worth of water, and you get to reuse it. So you pay the one-time fee, $13.44, you can go back and back, and they have machines where you just hook it up to a hose and it refills the whole bottle. The initial cost is higher than a case of water, but I you know it's um, reusable. <clears throat> this is probably a lot better for a person who has a car. I take the bus everywhere. I don't have a car. So this was kind of inconvenient for me to go to the store. I had to carry this thing like a block to get to the bus stop. We took up a whole bus seat getting this home, and then... I had to walk another block home. It's like very heavy. It's like probably 40 pounds or something like that. Obviously that's not the, way, not the way you drink out of it. So I also got this thing, this pump, you can put on top of it. This is from Walmart. This was $14. It's a rechargeable USB pump. So if you don't want the, the huge stand that this normally goes in, you can get this. I guess this is for like home, home use. And um, it's electronic, it just sticks on top. Just give me a minute to set this up. I was about to read the instructions, but they're all in Chinese, so. Thanks, Walmart. I'm just not sure which side of the hose is the top or the bottom. That's all I'm trying to figure out. It uses micro USB, so not USB-C. I think you just drop this in there. All right, and okay, just press the button, and there you go.
you know, actually, I think it tasted better coming straight from the bottle. <laughs> I think the I'm tasting like this hose inside. Maybe I should have cleaned it first or something. I think it was definitely better tasting without this machine. That's not, I wouldn't recommend this thing. It doesn't taste good. That does not taste good. This was like the cheapest one on Walmart.com. It was 14 bucks. I think they have more expensive ones. Maybe you get, maybe you get, you know, one that's a couple bucks more. That's a, that's a lot better. Okay. I'm going to say that the winner is the Fjord water. I think it just tastes better. It just, even without this machine, even just drinking it straight from this. I think it tastes better. With this dispenser, the water coming out of this dispenser, I'm going to give it a thumbs down. But straight from the bottle and from this, both get a thumbs up. Um, but the Fjord water is just a little bit better. So this is going to move on to the round two. That's it. Thanks for watching, everyone.